Dude, what is with Facebook's chat and Restream IO? What is going on, dude? It works one minute and then the next minute it's not working. What's up? I'll tell you, stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale. And I'm Walt. And this is Live Streaming Tech. And if you wanna learn more about live streaming online in places like Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and beyond, then click that subscribe button and tickle that bell notification so it turns to on so you don't miss a single video. Today's video is sponsored by my brother's book. <laughs> he owes me money. So instead of him actually being able to pay me back, you're gonna order this book. Actually, if you wanna learn how to live stream online for beginners and gamers, this is the book for you. He talks a little bit about all the equipment you wanna use, the places you wanna go. He makes it dead simple. Visit livestreamingtech.site slash book and I won't break his kneecaps. And you can read it on the toilet. Why was it I was able to get Facebook chat through Restream and then now it's not there again? Okay, I mean, that's a great question. Actually, I reached out to Restream's support staff, actually on a couple of different occasions. And each time I reached out to them, they were really super cool. All that to say this, this is, this is a long video to kind of tell you a very short answer. And it's going to be that Facebook. Facebook keeps changing things on Restream and everybody else. It's actually what's called API. And it's a way that the software integrates with the actual platform. And so when they change that API, Facebook's not going out to the thousands of different developers and saying, hey, I changed the API. Yeah, They're just going in and changing it. And Restream's kind of going here, going, scratching their head, going, oh, okay. And they don't know until you do something, which is contact them. So if you're having issues with your Facebook chat popping up over inside the, 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 the chat with the other integrations like YouTube and Twitch and all the other platforms, you gotta let support staff know over on Restream.io. So the bigger question is, why does Facebook keep butt streamers? Uh, honestly, Facebook keeps changing these things because they're trying to find ways that they can monetize their platform better and also deliver a better customer experience. They're not too concerned about you as a streamer. Now, it, it seems kind of hurtful, but Facebook is not your friend, all right? They're not your friend. They're not here to like be like, hey, let's go hang out. Let's go watch a movie together. It's bro time, you and me, Facebook, all right. No, they, they honestly, they're trying to tweak things around their platform. And again, there's thousands of these different software you know, providers that are going there and it's just gonna be up to them to try to keep up with Facebook and their ever-changing platform. So Mark Zuckerberg's not my friend? No, I don't think so. Oh. Although on MySpace, what's his name? He's still your friend. What, what was that guy's name? Uh, Dildo MySpace, I don't know his name. Um, <laughs> was it Jeff, Mike, something Mike, like that? Bob, <laughs> I don't know, something like that. What can we do as live streamers on this, uh, streaming on this platform? So for instance, like if I'm using Restream IO or say Mob Crush and I'm streaming to Twitch and YouTube at the same time, do I just give up on Facebook? Honestly, uh, the best thing you can do, don't, don't ignore Facebook. What I would say is, this is what I'll do, is I'll pull out my mobile device and I'll just turn on whatever the stream's at. So if I have like a starting soon um, you know, banner that I'm putting up or something else like that, or even say at the very beginning, give me just a moment, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and queue things up, and then I pull up my chat here, or I'll even have a monitor off to the side where I have it streaming. I try to get it off on a different device. So instead of being on my PC and eating up resources, I'll open up my Mac and I'll just turn it on there and I'll watch the actual chat over there. That's a good idea. So like if you have an iPad or a small laptop or anything like that, just yeah. pull up uh, the Facebook page on it, that way. It's tedious, it's a little bit extra work, but honestly, you're gonna have to, first of all, again, get a hold of Restream, let them know that you're not getting the chat and they'll probably respond back to you. They're very, very responsive. And the next thing is just go ahead and you know, do it on the fly. Don't rage quit. Don't like just shut down your stream, be like, ah, screw it, I'm done with it. You know, work around that. There's gonna be sometimes some issues you're gonna run into. And I think the best way to do this is, like I said, pull up a mobile device, get another computer off to the side, or even have it over on a monitor off to the side so you can see the chat and you can still engage with those people. And if you're quite unfamiliar with Restream IO, I have the perfect video up here for you to check out where Dale does a review on Restream IO, or you can look at this video over here where he talks about how to set up Restream chat or Restream IO chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, is it recording? Yeah, it's oh. recording, dude. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>